Howdy folks, we're at it with Photoshop to create some pixel art. So I'm gonna load up Photoshop here. This is the sort of essential Photoshop um, default screen when you first uh, open it up. Yours might look slightly different depending on how you used it last, but we're just gonna spend some time learning a little bit about the setup of it so we can get going on our pixel art. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is change our workspace. So we're gonna go into here into the workspaces in our windows and we're going to use painting for this. So it's going to automatically give us a much more useful set of tools for doing um, work in pixel art. But I still want to add to that. So I'm going to go into my windows here, different types of windows, and I am going to add some other panels. So one of the panels I'm going to add is the uh, color panel here. So now we have swatches here and colors here. That is going to be useful for some of the shading we're going to do later, picking different kinds of colors. And then we can pick very um, different types of colors with our swatches panel. Uh, and we are also going to add some history. I like using the history a lot. It's like a super undo button. So grab a, a history window in here, take the history, and then dock it. I like to dock it in the middle over here. So now we have a history panel here, which is going to start to fill out as we do stuff in our things. Uh, we have a layers panel here at the bottom. That's going to be really useful. It might be really useful to have a timeline at the bottom uh, for animation, which we may do later on in the course. So you can leave that open for now um, because we might come back to that. And we don't need a whole lot of screen space for um, our pixel art anyway. So, so far, so good. There's one really important thing we need to do before we start making pixel art, and that is coming over here to uh, our preferences. So edit, preferences, general. Okay, it's gonna pop up this little window here for editing our preferences, and we are going to, your computer is probably set to, I already changed this, to bilinear image interpolation and I want to turn it to nearest neighbor preserve hard edges. That's going to be a useful way so that Photoshop doesn't automatically blend our colors together in our pixel art because we don't want that in pixel art. We want to be able to define exactly what colors are which per pixel. We don't even want to do it automatically. So that's a handy one to do. So uh, change it to nearest neighbor and then press OK and we are all set up to go for our uh, first getting ready for a document. 